Good morning. We want to thank each of you for joining the New Hope Baptist Church Children's Ministry Worship Experience. We pray something will be said or done to inspire your child this week. Friends, it's great to see you. Did you notice this box over here? I wonder what's inside. We'll leave that until later. Today, I want to talk with you about why God gives us gifts. You know, like different talents, interests, and abilities. God gave us different gifts so we can show others that we love them. We should use what we have to make others' lives better. That's why we all have different kinds of gifts, because we all need different kinds of help. Sometimes we need to be comforted. Sometimes we need to laugh. Sometimes we need good food to eat. Sometimes we need someone to pray for us. Think about it this way. In the Bible, a guy called the Apostle Paul wrote a letter telling his friends how the church, you know, everyone who follows Jesus, is like a body. You know how the parts of your body do different things? You use your ears to hear. Your mouth can sing songs or tell stories. Your stomach digests all the yummy food you eat. And you use your brain to think. What if you tried to use your thumb to solve a math problem? It wouldn't work, right? No, because the different parts of your body are made to do different kinds of things. No matter what we need, God has created people with gifts they can use to help, and your gifts will help others when you use them. Let's say it together so we don't forget. God uses my gifts to help others. Wisdom, knowledge, faith, healing, miracles, prophecy, Discernment, tongues, and interpretation. Thank you. Today we will discover why God gave us these gifts. Our gifts are for helping others. Sometimes our gifts work better together to help other people. Our gifts make us all a part of one big team, like one body. Let's watch a fun activity, and it's called The Big Picture Using Two Simple Puzzles. Okay, this is our activity. What it is, the team work together, every piece matter. Every piece of the body matters. So. Right now, they're gonna put the puzzle together, which they have not seen before, so they don't even know what the picture looked like. But the first one that finished will ring the bell in the middle for Jesus, and they will be the winner. Ready, set, go. for the good in every piece of the body matters.
y'all can try this at home with your family. Get a puzzle or two can work on the same puzzle in two ways. They both did a great job and they both used what they had to make the big picture. Got a question for you. Have you ever been part of a team? Let's check in with some of our friends and see what they have to say. Okay. Have you ever been part of a team before? Yes. What team have you been on? Soccer. Did everybody on your team do the exact same thing? No. If everybody on your sports team did the exact same thing, would your team be any good? No. Why not? Because, because um, if we would all do the same thing, we would not be good. Thank you. Have you ever been part of a team before? Yes. What team have you been on? Gymnastics. What, what position? What did you do on gymnastics? Lots of flips. Lots of flips. Uh, did everybody do the exact same thing all the time? No. What if everybody did the same thing when you was in a competition? Would your team be any good? No. Why not? Because if everybody did the same thing, you, you wouldn't be any good because you need to learn other things so you can get better at what you do. Thank you. Hey guys, have any of you been part of a team before? Yes, yes. What part of, what team you been? Soccer. What about you? Basketball. Okay. What, in basketball, what position did you play? The position I played in basketball is shooting guard. Shooting guard. Did, did everyone on your team do the exact same thing, Trey? No. No? Okay. If you, if y'all had your teams and they all did the exact same thing, would your team be any good? No, our team wouldn't be any good because you need multiple different players to create a more versatile team. What about you, Trey? Um, yeah, we need to have multiple players to be playing different positions because it will be really confusing if everyone was playing the same thing. Great job. Thank you. Great. Everyone on the team has to do his or her part. Then, when the team wins, everyone on the team wins. Now it's time for our big idea. Do anyone remember last week's big idea? Think about it. That's right. Last week's big idea, everyone has special gifts. Can anyone remember why God gives us gifts? That's right. 
God gives us gifts so we can help other people. That is what our big idea is for this week. God uses my gifts to help others. Say that with me. God uses my gifts to help others. Let's go to our scripture reading for this week. A reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 12 through 14 and 27 through 31. Just as a body, though one has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so also it is with Christ. For we were all baptized by one spirit so as to form one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free, and we were all given the one spirit to drink. Even so, the body is not made up of one part, but of many. Verse 27. Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it. And God has placed in the church, first of all, apostles, second, prophets, third, teachers, then miracles, then gifts of healing, helping, guidance, and of all different kinds of tongues. All are apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, do all work miracles? Do all have gifts of healing? Do all speak in tongues? Do all interpret? Now eagerly desire the greater gifts. For the sake of time, I would like to encourage everyone to read 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 12 through 31, either after we finish our lesson today, or just use read a few parts of it each day for the upcoming week or get your parents to read it to you. Thank you. Let's see if we can get some understanding. Back when the church just started, right after Jesus went to heaven, some people were fighting over who was better or whose gifts were better. But God doesn't want us to compare gifts. God gave us all different gifts so that we can work together to help others. God gave us all different gifts so we can all do different things to come together and work to get things done. To help us understand, the Bible tells us to look at our own body. We are each made out of many parts. Arms and legs, our heart, our brain, our eyes, and even our stomach, just to name a few body parts. But all of these parts are still part of one body. That's how it is with Jesus. We are all, we are all different parts of one body, the body of Christ. Now, imagine that your whole body was just one big eyeball. How would you hear? How would you smell things? God put every part of our bodies exactly where they should be. And God puts all of us where we should be too. And every part matters. Yes, it does. Just like our body parts need each other, we all need each other too. God made us all with gifts. Why does God give us gifts? That's right. So we can help others. Let's do a little activity. Have you seen one of these before? This is Mrs. Potato Head. Let's put her parts on her body. Or her. Let's give her some legs and feet. Hmm. Give her some eyes. She needs a nose. A mouth. Yes. What about some arms? Oh, she got a purse with her today. A little bracelet. 
Hey, one of hey, she looks good, doesn't she? Is she missing something? Oh, she needs some ears. Great. That's maybe I'm missing something. She needs two ears. She won't be able to hear. I know that's silly, but God created the body with different parts for a reason. You're right. You cannot have a body made up of all eyes and all hands or ears. You need the different parts that goes together. The church is like a body. Sometimes the church is called the body of Jesus. Jesus is the head. And each of us is a different part. It is meant for us to work together and help each other out. Our second scripture reading for today comes from Romans chapter 12, verse 6 through 8. Chapter 12, verses 6, 7, and 8. Let me read it for you. You can read it along with me. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, lead do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. The Bible says that each of us have gifts from God, but it's not just for us to keep to ourselves. When someone gives you a gift, what is the first thing you usually do? You open it. You have to take it out the box and use it. Otherwise, if the gift has, otherwise, it has no purpose if you leave it in the box. When we get gifts from God, you can't just put them away like gifts that we never take out of a box. We need to unbox our gifts and use them to help others. Remember friends, God uses our gifts to help others. What gifts or special abilities do you think God gave you? Remember, he gave all of us special gifts. Do you help your friends with homework? Do you cheer them up when they're feeling sad? Do you tell others Jesus loved them? Do you give generously? Do you pray for people? God uses our gifts to help others, and God also uses other people's gifts to help us. Remember how we all are parts of the same body? We all need each other. God designed us to work together and help each other out. Let's do some reflection. Can any part of your body work by itself without being connected? No. To the rest of the body? No. Uh, what about your legs? No, they can't. They... What about your arms? <laughs> nope. Why not? Because they all have to be connected. Okay, thank you. Why do you think it's important for us to get together like we would do at church? I think it's important for us to get together like we do at church so we can all come together and worship Jesus at the same time. Great. Can any part of your body work by itself without being connected to the rest of the body? No, any part of our body can't work by itself because all the body parts need to come together so we can all work as one. How, do you, how can you use any of your gifts that God has given you? 
I can use any of my gifts that God has given me because I can walk with my legs and I consider that as a gift. All right, thank you. Let's do our last activity called Picasso Art. Pablo Picasso was given the gift of art. He was an excellent painter, but he was most well known for paintings that look something like this. Unusual, right? Yes. So the activity for today, I gave two of our friends who are twins, a coloring sheet that has to do with our lesson for today so they can make their own and create their own Picasso art. Let's see how they did. This is our first one. This one was by Gabriel. Gabriel did great. That's his own creative art. Great job, Gabriel. Next, this is his twin brother, Grayson. Grayson did a great job too. Great job, Grayson. Both of you did an awesome, awesome job. God made you and he gave you all the body parts you have and put them where they are all on purpose. And just like how each of us, your body parts are important to you. You are important to those around you because God uses your gifts and our gifts to help others. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pray and after I finish, we will have our memory verse. Who's going to be, who's going to sing to us our memory verse. And I want you to learn the memory verse and sing along with our puppet friend, Luke. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Dear God, thank you again for you, the amazing gift you have given each of us. We love getting gifts, but it is so fun to be able to give gifts to our friends too. Help us to use our gifts and for us to be able to see who needs our gift. Thank you for all the people who have helped us with their gifts and thank you for the gift of Jesus. Amen. Thank you guys. Now let's sing our memory verse with our puppet friend, Luke. Hi everybody, I'm Luke. It's time for a memory verse. I'm excited. I'm so excited about the memory verse. It's found in 1 Peter 4 and 10. And it says, each of you should use whatever gift you have to serve others. As faithful stewards of God's grace in various forms. Oh, I think that'd be cool in a song. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Let me try the memory verse in a song. So get ready, everybody. It's 1 Peter 4 and 10. 1 Peter 4 and 10, clap your hands. 1 Peter 4 and 10, now clap your hands. 1 Peter 4 and 10, clap your hands again. First Peter 4 and 10, clap your hands. First Peter 4 and 10, clap your hands. First Peter 4 and 10, clap your hands. First Peter 4 and 10, clap your hands again. First Peter 4 and 10, clap your hands. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. As faithful stewards of God's grace in various forms, First Peter 4 and 10, clap your hands. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. As faithful stewards of God's grace in various forms, First Peter 4 and 10, clap your hands. Yay! That was so much fun! That was so much fun. Adios. Adios. Be sure to join us each Sunday for an encouraging word where we're building faith and sharing love.